Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we are making the Norfolk Southern EMD SD40-2, and this is a high hood version. So here is a 360 view of it. It's actually another commission by Zachary Plant. He commissioned it during our last live stream, and I actually had this in my yard for quite a long time before that, so I was able to uh, finish it up really quick, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the build. It's been a while since we made a Norfolk Southern tutorial, so this is pretty great. And let's get started. So we're going to make the front plow using nether brick stairs. And that's going to be three blocks wide, top of the tracks, make the sides curved. All right. And then on top of that, we're going to add three blocks wide of gray concrete. Then right here in the middle, we're going to add a dark oak a slab like that. That's going to be our coupling on the side. We're going to add upside down nether brick stairs facing outwards on the bottom. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to go behind and add black concrete, nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we're going to add three blocks wide of nether brick slabs. Then we're going to go right to the front and add three more black concretes, and then nether brick wall, then two black concretes, nether brick wall, and then two more black concretes, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And then we're going to uh, go down here and add in uh, these two oak uh, slabs like that, and then go in the middle, add black concrete with a dark oak fence gate inside. Same thing on the other side, so fence gate here, and then uh, the oak slabs for, I guess, the steps up. So we're going to go right after this oak slab, add a gray terracotta, dark oak stairs right behind it, skip a block, add another wheel, skip a block, add another wheel. Then we're going to add hoppers to the sides of all the wheels, and do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go right in between the stairs and add another brick block with another brick slab after it. Same thing on the other ones. And last one over here, another brick block in between. Then we're going to take out dark oak fence gates and add it right in front of the stairs, as well as in front of the slab inside. Same thing on the other side. And also don't forget the last stairs right there. And also in the inside part, we're going to add in these two dark oak fence gates and open them up. Like so. Now on the top section, there's going to be nether brick stairs upside down, right side up, and then a slab, upside down, right side up, and then a slab, and then two more stairs, upside down, and then right side up. So they make like these three semicircles. same thing on the other side. And um, once we're done with that, we're going to add in dark oak uh, trap door and add it in between uh, where this uh, gap is for these two spots, both sides, same thing. And that is pretty much it for our uh, truck design. Now we're gonna add in gray concrete, uh, three blocks wide. And we're gonna make it in nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Make it three blocks wide over there. And then what we're gonna do Go right down to the bottom here, at three blocks wide at the bottom, same thing in the back. Then across the bottom row, we're going to add in this nether brick stairs all the way across. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Right there, nether brick stairs all the way across, like so. All right, and then we're gonna add in these three blocks wide of nether brick slabs here. So next in the front, we're gonna add trip wire hooks alongside the coupling with dark oak fence gates underneath. Like that, open them up. And right on top, we're gonna add two blocks tall of nether brick fence. And then next to that, two blocks tall oak fence, oak fence to the side of it. Same thing on the other side, so it's pretty symmetrical here so far into the build and then we're going to add another brick slab in between the fences and then three blocks wide here and then we're going to add 
I guess one to the outer edges. Now in the front, we're gonna add in this uh, iron trap door. It's gonna be sort of like a gangplank. And we're gonna add item frames in front of these fences with a block of quartz inside for the ditch lights. Then we're gonna go to the side here and add a quartz slab right there with an oak fence to the side of it, like that. Now we're pretty much done with this front part and we're gonna reflect this thing all the way to the back just where this uh, slab starts and we'll pretty much mirror it on the other side. So once you did the same thing on the other side, we're gonna go back to the front behind the quartz slab and add seven black concretes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Same thing on the other side. So, and then we're going to go to the front and we're going to add in a V shape of black concrete right there. Then we're going to take block of quartz, add two blocks in the middle. Then we take black concrete and add one right there and quartz block on top. Then two blocks tall of black concrete right there. Then we're going to take nether brick slabs and we're going to add three slabs here. And then we're gonna make a U shape using black concrete. And then place a block of quartz inside that U shape like so. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. And do the same thing on the other side. So three slabs here and then a U shape, black concrete, and then quartz block inside. All right, and then right above that quartz block is gonna be a light gray glass block. Black concretes to the sides of it, both sides like so. And then uh, what we're gonna do, add nether brick stairs on the sides of the cab roof, I guess. And the inside part would connect that using black concrete all the way across and connect that to the front as well, like so. And then what we're gonna do, fill in this hole here with black concrete all the way in. So it's not exposed and it's sorta of hard to see cause it's black concrete very dark color all right and once we're done with that we can take out a birch fence gate put that in the middle open that up and birch signs to the sides of it that's going to be our number plates and then to the side we want to add a dark oak button right here to both sides then on top there's going to be a dark oak fence gate it's going to be our horn right there and then we're gonna skip uh, two blocks and add a lever. Make it face the back and then skip a block and add another lever like so. Now we're gonna make our door banner which looks like this. So go to our loom and we're gonna take out a gray banner, put that inside and black dye border around it. It's gonna go all the way around and then we're gonna put that back in and go on the bottom half of it. And that's pretty much it on how to make the door banner. We're gonna place that in the front and the back of the cab, both sides, of course, like so. Then we're gonna go on the other side and add black concrete on the side all the way up to where this gap is. So just go across, extend this all the way to the gap. After that, we're gonna add quartz slabs all the way across. Now the other side, it's much easier. We're just gonna add quartz slab all the way across right there and we're taking another brick slab and we're going to add four blocks in the front here so one two three four add gray concrete for the rest same thing on the other side so four slabs and then the rest is gray concretes all right so <laughs> then in the back part we fill this in another brick slab here and make a u-shape of another brick slab after it in the middle, we're going to add a V-shape of black concrete. And on top of that, we're going to add two uh, quartz blocks in the middle, black concrete on the sides, quartz block on top of that, and then two blocks tall of black concrete. All right, and then we're going to go across the bottom row all the way across where the quartz slab is. Do that on both sides like so. And then the back portion here, we're going to add three blocks wide, black concrete, and then three blocks long bedrock on the sides. 
both sides, fill in the middle with black concrete all the way across to the back portion. Like so. And the back part here, we take bedrock and we're going to make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, and five, and then black concrete for the rest all the way across. Same thing on the other side, bedrocks and the black concrete. Then we're going to go to the side here and add another brick stairs upside down facing the back. And then three dark oak stairs and then another brick stairs for the rest all the way to that bedrock. Do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And another brick. Alright, so then we'll take out dark oak. Um, trap door, add two here. Skip a block, add another one here. Then we're going to skip a block and add daylight detector, skip a block, be daylight detector, skip a block, daylight detector, skip a block, two daylight detectors, and then skip a block, daylight detector, make them all blue. And then we'll add in a skeleton skull, place that in between um, these two daylight detectors. Then we're going to go to the back part and we're going to add in uh, two dark oak uh, trap doors like that. And another brick wall underneath in that. I think it might be a bell, I'm not sure. And then we'll add in a birch fence gate underneath and then signs on either side of it, like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate on the bottom row here. And dark oak buttons right above the signs. Then we're gonna take out black carpet add it right above the bedrocks and also on top of the outer parts so all of this has to be black wool uh, carpet all the way across and then we're going to go to the front and add another dark oak um, fence gate right there and open it up it's just going to be our ladder so next we're going to make these banners so go to our loom and we're going to take a black banner place that inside white dye, put it inside. So we're gonna make a white row on the top section of it, put that back in. A row on the bottom section, put that back in, and then a row across the middle, put that back in. And then once you have this banner, we're gonna make a copy of it and make these, uh, I guess like triangular ones. So go back in the loom, put that banner back in, add a black dye, um, and try to find the triangle one right there, so that's one corner, put that back in, and do the other corner. All right, and then we should have uh, these three banners, and we're gonna go inside here, add the vertical ones up in the front on the sides, and the triangular ones so it's angled right behind it like that. Go to the other side, and do the same thing, like that. Trying to make that Norfolk Southern stripe, which is iconic. Now for the horse logo, uh, what we're doing for that one, we're going to make, I uh, believe, a white banner and place a black die inside of it. We want to make a diamond shape in the middle. Put that back in and add a line across diagonally and trying to find that right there. Put that back in. And then we're going to add a white dye border all around it. Put that back in. All right. So let's place that on the front and the back of the Norfolk Southern. Like so. And let's also add in um, black concrete on the side here. We're going to make a 3x3. Three three. So three blocks long, three blocks tall. And then we're going to add... Um, an L shape of black concrete here and we're left with this hole and there's going to be a window so another brick stairs inside and there is a light gray glass block on the inside of it I have black concrete right above it and we'd go on the other side just add black concrete all the way across so it matches up with the other side but this side doesn't have a window I believe so it's just going to be clean. And uh, next, we're going to make this Norfolk Southern logo. So that's going to be four uh, quartz blocks. So on the top row, one, two, three, four. 
upside down um, court stairs and then right side up and then upside down court stairs it's kind of like makes an N and an S all right and then the other side we need to flip the design over so um, there's gonna be uh, the stairs over here I'm trying to make an N shape so I guess we'll place these three stairs like this make the N and the S and then four quartz blocks in front like so so then we're going to take black concrete add it in between the letters on uh, both sides fill that in as well as fill in the black concrete all the way to the cab same thing over here all right then we're going to go underneath the end and the s let's add in a quartz slab two blocks long like that and quartz slab underneath then we're going to add another one to the bottom so it's kind of like an upside down pot do the same thing on the other side make the quartz slabs two blocks tall and two blocks long and then add another one to the bottom like so then we're going to take black concrete and pretty much just fill in all the rest of the wall all the way across as well as the inside of the letters just fill in that as well and this bottom portion too so once we fill all that in it should look like this and then we we'll take out birch button add it right underneath this quartz also add one here add one onto the bedrock add a case button dangling up from that stairs birch button underneath birch button two of them like those so <laughs> spaced apart let's add another one underneath that one as well all right and then there's just like another one on the bottom of this one and another one diagonal to this or actually next to that um quartz slab and we're to go on the other side and we're going to add in a birch button right here skip a block another one here then two of them over here and then there's like one of them down there then we'll move up to the front part and add in two nether brick walls nether brick slab and then a three by three of black glass pane like so then we'll add black carpet right above this black concrete right on the outer edge like so then we'll add another brick fence right here to the side another brick fence two blocks tall here skip a block two blocks tall keep on doing that till we reach the end but the last one it's going to be um oak fence so this is just going to be oak fence two blocks tall like that then we're going to add dark oak fence gates uh in between the gaps Alright, so once we do that, we're going to go on the other side and pretty much do the same thing. So, uh, another brick fence here, another brick fence, two blocks tall. Alright, so once we finish it off on this side, it's, it's basically the same thing. And we're going to move down here and add in another brick wall in that little nook. Then we're going to go to the back and go to right where this plow is. And we want to replace it with three blocks wide of gray concrete. Put back the nether brick stairs. And then we'll move on to the front area and add the railings here, which are going to be nether brick fence here. And then dialing up um, dark oak uh, fence gate. Then two blocks tall, nether brick fence. And then dark oak fence gate. And do the same thing on the other side. So. Now the brick fences here and here and then dark oak fence gates in between like that so yeah that is pretty much it on how to build the norfolk southern emd sd40-2 it's a high hood in minecraft and thanks to zachary plant for making this video possible if you guys like this video please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because i'll be uploading more videos such as this in the future and i'll see you guys next time bye